Hello students. Today we are going to study about elasticity of supply. This chapter is in the Oswald Publishers ICSC Economics book on page number 136 to 143. Now when the topic is elasticity of supply, the first thing that we should know is its meaning. What is elasticity of supply? Now let's move on to the meaning. In the words of Professor Bilas, it says, Elasticity of supply is defined as the percentage change in quantity supplied divided by percentage change in price. Which means the word divided tells us that this is like a mathematical representation. Let's look into it. Well, now you see like a formula on your screen and it says elasticity of supply is equal to percentage change in quantity supplied upon percentage change in price. That means when supply, the quantity supplied, the change in the quantity supplied is being divided by the change in price is elasticity of supply. Now we are going to look into the degrees of elasticity and here are the listed five degrees of elasticity of supply. For this you can refer to page number 137 and 138 in your books. Now like you can see the names it says perfectly elastic supply, perfectly inelastic supply, unitary elastic supply, relatively elastic su supply and relatively inelastic supply. Let's get, in, get into the details of all the five degrees of elasticity of supply. Now the first one that we are going to take is perfectly elastic supply. Now on your screen you might be seeing in the bracket there is a little formula kind of a thing and also there is a diagram. Now what is the formula looking like? That sign over there shows infinity. Okay, That means something which is limitless. Something which can go to any extent. Okay, Therefore, perfectly elastic supply actually is a situation when there is no change in the price but the quantity supplied may change to any extent. It can go to any limit. Okay, Like in the diagram if you see that price is you know price is there and supply is also there price is p1 p2 it can be p3 price can keep changing or there can be no change in the price actually if you see the price is very stagnant but quantity is changing if you see the dotted lines of quantity it shows that no matter if the price is changing or not but the quantity supplied is changing and constantly moving ahead to any extent. Our next degree is perfectly inelastic supply which means elasticity of supply is actually zero over here. That means this is a situation when there is a change in the price but there is no change in the quantity supplied. Now price if you see P, P1, P2, price, original price is OP, but price is increasing from OP to OP1, price is decreasing from OP to OP2, but the quantity supplied remains the same as OQ. There is no change in the quantity supplied. Our next point is unitary elastic supply, where elasticity of supply is actually equal to 1. Now what does this equality mean over here? It means that the proportion of change in the price will be exactly the same as the quantity supplied. That means in the diagram if you see if the price increases from OP1 to OP2 the same and equal change in the quantity takes place. So from OQ1 it goes on to OQ2. Now basically the situation is that there is no, I should say that there is actually a change but 
the change in the quantity supplied is actually equal to the proportion of the change in the price there is exact or i should say similarity in the change of both of them price as well as quantity let's move on to our next degree which is relatively elastic supply in the bracket you might be seeing that elasticity of supply is greater than 1 basically 1 over here is considered to be the price okay now elasticity that means is more than the price in the diagram do you see a very broad uh, place between the quantity and very narrow place between the price that means the supply is more and price is less according to the diagram as well as the equation given on top now op was the original price and price changes from op to op1 but do you see the increment or the change in the quantity from oq to oq1 it's a very big change over there which means that this is actually a situation when there is a small change in price but it brings large change in the quantity supplied okay our next point is or we should say our next degree of elasticity of supply is relatively inelastic supply now relatively inelastic supply over here price will be more or i should say greater than the supply okay now if you see in the diagram do you see a narrow gapping between both the quantities but a broader gapping between both the prices this is what it means to have the price greater but the quantity smaller that means this situation arises when the quantity supply changes by a small percentage as compared to the change in price that means price is changing to a bigger amount but quantity supplied is just a small percentage of change okay these were the five degrees of elasticity now we are going to move on to our next heading and that is coefficient of elasticity of supply now for this it is just a summary of all the five degrees of supply of elasticity of supply and i would like you to open your book on page number 139 you will find the exact same table in your book as well so either you can go through it from the slide or you can also open your book simultaneously to check in your book and read through it let's move on to our next thing which is which is factors affecting elasticity of supply now the first point for factors affecting elasticity of supply is nature of the inputs used now nature means over here basically nature of the inputs would mean that inputs are all the factors of production like labor land capital these are all factors of production now what happens is that if factors of production are commonly available easily available then the supply of commodity will be elastic and like we previ previously saw elastic would mean that when the quantity supply changes by a large percentage than price on the other hand if the factors of production are not easily available they are rare factors then the supply will be inelastic which means that elasticity of supply or we can say that the quantity supplied will be smaller as compared to the change in price next we move on to natural constraints now in this what happens that if we wish to you know produce an uh, something which is natural for example let's take the example of a uh, teak wood okay if we want to plant teak wood then it is going to take lots and lots of years to reach to the level where we can start using it in such a situation what ha what will happen is that the supply of such a commodity will become inelastic now inelastic i already told you it will mean that quantity supplied will be smaller as compared to the price on the other hand we are going to look into the next point which is risk taking now risk taking is the uh, characteristic of an entrepreneur and if our 
if any entrepreneur is willing to take the risk is ready to take the risk then the supply will be elastic which means that the elasticity of supply or the supply uh, or in other words quantity supplied will be larger than the price but if the entrepreneur is not ready to take the risk or is hesitating to take the risk in that situation the supply is going to be inelastic which means inelastic means when the quantity supplied is actu uh, changes actually by a smaller percentage as compared to the change in price our next point is cost of production now actually cost of production is also a factor that affects the elasticity of supply now what happens is that if production is subject to the law of increasing costs that means if the cost of production is higher in that case the supply of such goods in which the cost of production is higher in the production of home the cost of uh, production is higher then in that case the supply will be inelastic inelastic like i told you earlier again let me repeat it is when the quantity supplied changes by a smaller percentage than the price change our next factor or point now our next point is time factor now in this what happens is that when you know we have a longer period of time we will have greater elasticity of supply the reason is that over a long period of time what happens is that more and more factors are easily available and when more factors are easily available then the inputs can be easily changed and when inputs can be changed for the output of the commodity then obviously our elasticity of supply is going to be great okay so you have to remember that the longer the period of time the greater will be the elasticity of supply our next point is and the last point of course is technique of production well technology can be either complex complicated or it can be very simple if it is complicated in that situation what happens is that elasticity of supply of a commodity will be inelastic and why will it happen because the production cannot be easily done if the technique is too complicated difficult for the people to manage in that case elasticity of supply is going to be inelastic and like i'm always repeating inelastic means that when the quantity supplied is lesser than the change in price on the other hand if our technique is simple easy to handle and manage then the production or oh sorry then the supply is elasticity of supply is going to be elastic and like i previously told what is elastic or relatively elastic it means when the elasticity of supply is greater than the percentage change in price i hope students you have understood the whole lesson i wish you all the best and i hope that you are going to follow in your books and go through the lesson one more time